The many kinds of men and women, young and old, Dimitri thought, watching from their seats, wide-eyed, spellbound by the feats of the various acts, marveling at the physical dexterity, the quickness of foot, the strength, or the fearlessness of the performer, consider these to be the essence of the performance. However, he was beginning to realize the well-rehearsed circus performer gives little or no thought to them, nor to things like them. Their focus is elsewhere, on the ringmaster, on finding the certainty in the center of themselves, trusting in God, creating the right external conditions of moderate balance, shaking hands with themselves, as it were, bringing into the ring of here and now the harmonies of spirit and body. For they know well enough that when they succeed in doing so, the magic of the ring is assured. In one of the heavens, high above the circus tent, the sun's beaming light changes the morning's dew to jewels. The spirit of the reborn day glides its scented way through the ethereal spaces of a higher cosmos. There, the choirs of creation sing their praise unto the One, and the spheres of light and fire dance their dance of ecstasy. The rivers of life, crystal clear, flow from the center of the sun to inundate the world. And as the singers sing and the dancers dance, an intelligent spark of life is kindled in the ring below. The tent becomes a cup of light. A pulse of energy connects the ringmaster to the performer and radiates out from the center of the ring to the audience. Though they know and see it not, somewhere deep within they feel the shock, and for a moment at least they join the flow and drink from the waters of life and light. The holy breath of the Spirit is upon them. The weight of the world is lifted from their shoulders. Their sorrows dissolve as if they were never there. Wonder is in their eyes. For most, of course, the experience will be washed away, almost without a trace, when they rejoin the workaday world at the end of the performance. The saving grace, as far as they are concerned, lies in the word almost. However, some among the audience, who they will be, none can know, will afterwards think new and sometimes disturbing thoughts. They will cherish the moment forever, though they will not be able to explain it even to themselves. A few of these, perhaps a tiny few, will be changed. Somewhat puzzling memories of another time and another place will rise to the surface of their minds. They will feel the forces of light and life awaken slumbering hope within their trembling breast. Their lives will never be the same again. Such are the runaways.